Today we're going to be playing some old DOS games. Uh, there's a few ways, a few options that we can do this in. Sometimes it's a little easy, sometimes it's a little more complex. But let's have a quick look at this. Uh, first off, we're going to go to archive.org. What is archive.org? So it's a website that archives stuff. Websites, books, videos. You can upload stuff to it. If you have stuff you want to save forever, you can upload it. It is supported by donations. Um, so they do take donations, but you don't need to donate anything to upload But if you have anything you want to upload and make it public and then people can access it They try to store things. Of course, this is a legit site It's not for piracy if you upload something that you don't have the rights to it might get pulled that being said We're gonna be looking at some games here some are uploaded by archive.org and they have the rights to do that some may be uploaded by other people and maybe you don't have the rights to that, but it's uploaded there. But this is a legit site. It's not meant for piracy. Um, so if you get something on here, you may or may not have the rights to it because it just may have not been found and pulled by the right people yet. Or maybe they don't technically have the rights to it, but no one cares anymore. That's what's called abandoned wear, which really isn't anything. People say abandoned wear is where the creators or the owners of it don't care anymore. Legally, and I'm not a lawyer, that doesn't matter. If I have a copyright on something and people are sharing it, if I'm not doing anything about it, you might have an argument in court if, like, you can prove that I knew about it and I didn't care, I think. But, in general, I still have a copyright on it and I can still come after people. That's just a disclaimer. I'm not a lawyer. But let's go ahead and get started. One of the great things about Internet Archive is this guy, Jason Scott. Um, he's one of the head guys there. He's an archivist. Uh, he didn't himself, but he got together a bunch of programmers and he had them rewrite some things. One of the big things is DOSBox in JavaScript. We're going to be talking about DOSBox. It allows you to run old DOS programs on modern machines, Linux, uh, uh, Windows, Android. And he had them rewrite it in JavaScript, which is just amazing. So a lot of these things you can play right in the browser as long as it's set up properly. Some may not, and then some, it's usually better to download it. Although the JavaScript interface is great, uh, it, it doesn't work as well. For example, to get out of it, you hit escape, but maybe some of the programs you need escape. So it kind of X's you out of the full screen instead of out of the game. So we'll look at all that. But here we are at archive.org. Uh, again, they also have the Wayback Machine we'll talk about in a future video. Let's go up here to software real quick. And here we can all software. I'm going to go DOS games. And this lists a bunch of DOS games. Here's an example. One of the first ones on the list, the Oregon Trail. Now, if you go to archive.org and you see this big green button, that means you can play it right in the browser. We're going to click on that. It's going to start loading. It's got to download the game to your machine inside your browser and load it. Oregon Trail is very big, it's already loaded. You have this button up here to go full screen. And once you're in that, you can start playing. Look, we've got Oregon Trail. Again, you can do this on Android with DOSBox. You could probably even do it in the browser on, on Android. The problem is most DOS games you need a keyboard and an on-screen keyboard when you're trying to play a game like this just does not cut it. So either you need to hook up a physical keyboard to an Android device or play it on a desktop. Um, so here we go. You know, we're in Oregon Trail. My name, uh, trail. My name is Chris. We can say Bob. We can say Cade. We can say Andrew. And we can say my daughter Amber. How about that? Okay. So if I want to get out of this, I hit escape and it takes me out of full screen. Again, that's an issue. If you're in the game, you need to hit escape. It's going to keep taking you out of full screen mode if you're trying to play it full screen mode. So you can play this right in the browser. But what if you want to download and play it? Well, let's look at this. A lot of the stuff on archive.org can be downloaded, but you look at this one here. It says streaming only. Uh, basically, what I assume that means is they've got a right to, they got rights from the owners of the software to put it up on their website and allow people to play it. But the owner of the software probably told them, we don't want people downloading it. It's kind of like going to YouTube. You're allowed to watch the videos there, but you're not really supposed to download the videos, even though it's super easy to do. Um, so that's an example. Let's go back a page, look at some other uh, DOS just in this one collection. Uh, here's Doom. Again, Doom is free and open source. There are lots of ports to it, but you can play it right here in the web browser. And this is going to be the old DOS version. Newer ports are much better. You need a copy of Doom to play them, but the game's open source adds a lot of feature. Like in this, this is this is legit Doom 2 uh, DOS version. We can go into here and it doesn't even use uh, W, A, S, and D to move around because originally DOS didn't do that. You have to use the arrow keys. It's a little jerky. Uh, the, the resolution is horrible, which is because it's the DOS version. The jerkiness might be because it's JavaScript. I, I'm not really sure. Uh, and it's just not nearly as nice as actually using a uh, modern port of the game. So it's not like a PR boom, or boom. There's some more advanced ones out there. Go ahead again and escape. Is that know? Okay, my escape again brings me out to the menu. So escape works in the game once you get out of full screen mode. But anytime I want to go into a menu or something in this web page, I gotta hit escape to take me out of full screen mode before it registers this. 
Again, uh, if we scroll down here, this one is, uh, oh, there are download options for this one. So if we go here, we can go, is this, a, it doesn't say, doesn't say this is the, um, <laughs> it has it listed as abandoned where, DOS is not abandoned where. Um, we can go in here and go show all for files and you can see there's a zip file. If we look in there, you can probably see here, you could download this and play it in uh, DOSBox on your local machine. It has the WAD file. This seems to be the full game. I'm very surprised this hasn't been pulled uh, from the archive uh, because the owners of Doom still do enforce some copyrights on, uh, on trademarks and stuff like that. Uh, we have ones, I saw this earlier, Mortal Kombat. I went to click on it in here and it started loading. Um, it's 50 megabytes and it's taking a little while to download. So I never actually got around to allowing this to finish download. Let's, let's, let's give it a minute here and see if it downloads. Now, one thing about, uh, and again, this one's a stream only. When it comes to games or any files on archive.org, again, it's not just for games. They archive books. In fact, they have a library that you can check out books uh, for free from. You just sign up and you can check out their books. And a lot of them are scans of books. Uh, they're not they're not like um, modern uh, ebooks. They actually have people at archive.org that scan these books and they have a right just like a library. They have a copy. They let you view it digitally. Only one person can check it out at a time. Uh, so even though you're checking it out digitally, it's like checking out the the physical book. I'm not gonna sit around and wait for this to load up, but there's that. Let me go back real quick to uh, the Doom 2 DOS version here. I wanted to show you. Uh, so they have screenshots, uh, title items, so you can download. Uh, the zip file right here. Click that. You can click on the individual files. Uh, and you can pull out from the site. Uh, Doom is not very big. Doom 2 is probably 15 megabytes at most. Um, but larger files, you're going to download from them. You can download directly from the site, but they also usually allow a torrent link, uh, which just relieves their servers. Again, this is a nonprofit organization that takes donations. Um, they have some pretty good servers, but you can help them out uh, by probably using the torrent rather than download for larger files, just save them on bandwidth. I would think they would appreciate that. So again, uh, let's have a look. Let's go here. I'm going to go up to, back up to Internet Archive. I'm going to go here. And again, you can search all these different things, videos, pictures, audio files. And I'm just going to search uh, Commander Keen, okay? Commander Keen, uh, a game my kids love to play, my wife used to play when she was a kid. There's a few different versions of it, made by the same guys, uh, edit software that uh, made Doom. Uh, but let's look at an example here. If I scroll down, actually, let's narrow this down, because as I mentioned, so if you look, you can see the green icon here, and here's a blue speaker icon. This one's, so this one's audio, this one's a video. Let's narrow this down and just check software here. That'll help narrow down our search. And then uh, we're gonna scroll down here. Here's one uh, right here. Aliens ate my babysitter, but it's a different copy. We could play it right here. Oh, but it is downloadable. So let's go ahead and go in here, show all. There's a zip file this time. Uh, let's show the contents of that zip file. Yep, so this one, this one, it says demo. It's not the full game, but it, this is example will work for everything. So I'm not gonna download all these files. I'm just gonna come in here and download the zip file. I'm gonna download it to an empty directory. Now, I'm gonna play this on DOSBox on my local machine. I am running uh, Linux here, a Debian-based Linux. So to install DOSBox, I just have to use my package manager. So I sudo apt install DOSBox. I already have it installed. Type in my password. It's already installed. So you, if you're not running on a Linux system, if you are, it's in your repository. It's simple, easy. Just go search DOSBox and you should be able to download a copy for whatever system you're on. Again, Android is going to be in the App Store, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's a free and open source program. So once it's, it's running, so let's see, I'm in here, I have the zip file, all I have to do is unzip it. And now I just type in DOSBox and the name of the executable that we're working with. So in this one, K6 demo, so this is Commander Keen 6, this is just the demo of the game, but we'll do that. It's starting up, there we go, I can press any key to start up the game, and it's gonna load up. To go full screen, I'm not gonna do it because I might mess up my video recording, but it's Alt-Enter, should make it full screen, Alt-Enter to get at a full screen. If you are, using a DOS game that uses the mouse. So like when I click in here, it just captured my mouse. So if I wanted to get my mouse back out, the key is control F10, and now I got my mouse back out. Uh, but here we go, this is the game, and I can now hit escape and go down to quit and escape. And, oh, it's, it's yes to quit. Uh, a lot of the games will bring you back out to a DOS prompt. To get out of DOS box, just type exit. Okay, so that was one example. I am going to remove everything in this directory. Okay.
So here's an example, Commander King chapter one, marooned on Mars, and this says that it's the floppy disk image. So if we come in here and we show all files, it's going to list all these files here. And uh, you don't need all of them. We just need what's actually just what's inside this 7-zip file. You can download the 7-zip file and extract it, or you can just go view content and they're gonna extract it for you right here. You can see there's one disk image. We're gonna click on that. I'm going to download it to my game directory here. So you can see I have this one image. Now, if you're on a Linux machine, mounting something like this is real easy. If you're on a Windows machine, and I would assume it's also probably the same on an Apple machine, I don't know. But on a Windows machine, you might have to get third-party software, just like everything else on Windows. But on a Linux machine, I just have to sudo mount uh, that file and where I want to mount it. I have an empty directory forward slash MNT, but you can create an empty directory anywhere and mount it. Now, if we list off what's inside that directory, you can see there is a directory inside that called Keen, and we have our executable right there. Uh, I believe you have to probably be in this directory. So I'm going to move into this directory and then I'm going to say DOS box and give it that file. It's going to load up again, alt enter to make it full screen, alt enter to get out of full screen. I'm not doing that because I don't want to mess up my recording. Uh, press any key to continue in this particular case. Now, in this particular case, we downloaded an image that can play right off, uh, the game complete played right off the image. Some might give you an installer and you have to install it somewhere, in which case you'd have to create a directory that is a drive. You mount a drive just like I showed before. Uh, mount C and then whatever, or mount directory and then C, or the other way around. Uh, but you can see this game is running no problem. Uh, I'm going to exit out of that. Now, we have it mounted. So this, this is an image, and you don't want to leave that mounted all the time. So what you probably would want to do is create a directory somewhere where you want the game to go. So here I'm just going to say, I'm going to create a directory called Keen. I don't remember what version of Keen this is. Keen 1, I guess. Uh, and then I'll move into that directory. And all I have to do is say copy all the files um, from within that folder. So I'm going to copy all those to here. And at this point, I can sudo umount to unmount uh, that image. So the image, I can delete that image file now. All my files for the game are right in here, and I can go DOS box and give it that. And we don't have to worry about the image file being mounted or anything like that in the future. But there you go. Uh, so that's a few options. Again, playing in the web browser is probably the easiest option. Uh, but it's not that hard. Once you get DOSBox installed, which is on a Linux machine, just go into your package manager and say install DOSBox, you're good to go. You download the uh, games, and as long as you can see the executable, you move into that directory and execute it with DOSBox. Again, if it grabs your mouse, uh, you're going to hit uh, Control F10 to get your mouse back. In fact, let's go here. Here are some other special keys. You can do screenshots and other stuff like that, but just search uh, DOSBox special keys, and you should be able to find this that show you all the keys, full screen, pausing, exiting, stopping, you can record videos if you want to record your gameplay, all that's built into DOSBox. It's a free open source uh, application. And that is playing old DOS games. Playing it in the web browser is great. Uh, it's a little funky sometimes with the key grabs because it's trying to grab stuff. Again, you can install it on a Android tablet. Biggest problem with that. You can install it directly, or I actually use, use it through RetroArch if you play other games. That's one of the cores in there. You can use DOSBox, but again, it, most of the games you go into and it asks for a keyboard, you can bring a keyboard up on the screen, but it takes up half the screen, you can't see what you're doing. So you would need a physical keyboard really to play the old DOS games. Um, that's it. I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. As always, I hope that you have a great day.